Esa niña no se aguanta. Ah. Quiere todo oh, porque oh, el pussy oh, sabe a panta. Ah. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Ah. Dale todo, dos de lengua y una horchata. Ah. Si te alcanza. Ah. I'm the shit, huh? Ah. Are you catching what I'm throwing for a pickup? What's up, y'all? How you guys doing? We are live on the motherfucking podcast. It says there should be at least 200 likes. There should, absolutely. There is 400 people in the live. 200 likes is a bare minimum. There's 1,600 people on the TikTok right now, but we need to get them all over here. If we hit 1,000 people live on the YouTube right now, my mom and I will take a shot, which, to be honest with you, it seems like I don't need another one because I'm lit. I'm fucking lit. Ma, I just did another podcast, right? Ma, I'm not gonna lie, that part, that, that, okay, do it, ma, do it. Mommy's about to take a, a <sighs> shot of the most, that 1942, I already told y'all, it tastes like 1375. <laughs> that 1942 ain't tasting like 1942, my boy, that shit is tasting like fucking 500 BC. <laughs> 1492 that's that that's that when the fucking conquistadors came over to the u.s that's uh that's when they buried that shit behind the manure pile um not good but fuck it i don't know i don't know what happened to it to ruin it but we we getting ready there's 600 people in the live right now if you guys want us to take a s-h-o-t from tiktok make sure y'all also open up a tab get over to the youtube right now show us some motherfucking love some motherfucking support we about to do the hot seat questions with my mama mommy was over there at the podcast we got we got some good food today i told y'all i finished keto it's been great it's been good i've been you know i've been doing my thing however unfortunately even though i've been looking good and skinny i couldn't survive man i was depressed i wanted to jump off a b-u-i-l-d-i-n-g you know what i mean <laughs> i'm just gonna start spelling things to, to not to not um to not get uh bananaed from TikTok. But um yeah, man, I wanted to jump off of B U I L D I N G. I wanted to, you know, H A G H A N G myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted to just uh S T A B my fucking N E C K. <laughs> just kidding, all right. It's getting a little gruesome. it's getting a little gruesome. Yes, I've been looking skinny, I've been loving that, but also, damn girl. Bitches is depressed. Carbs tasted delicious. Last night, I started with a little bit of Chinese food, a little orange chicken, a little um, egg rolls with a little chow mein. Today, I ate a little uh, Popeyes with some baked macaroni with a little bit of a sweet heat sauce. And then earlier, it, we, we ate some food that tasted a lot like Benihana. I'm not going to lie. It was like... Betty Hanna type like rice and shit like that it was very good that doesn't mean that just because i'm off keto i'm just gonna wild the fuck out and eat all kinds of carbs but look i started i started with a couple carbs and i feel happy i feel good people were starting to be like snow you look so happy so sad i see the sadness in your eyes you 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 look like you look miserable ever since you know the incident and i'm like or i'm fucking hungry and i want carbs bitch and look yeah. at me now that's it that's it. That's it. Mommy said that's it. Only hungry. Only why, ma? What are you trying to say? Uh, yeah, it's n now for all the reason. It's only because you're hungry. <laughs> of food, good food. And I got some food. I got some food. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a shot. Wait, we almost there, guys. We at nine hundred. We pretty much at nine hundred viewers. Some of the fucking viewers off TikTok, y'all need to go over to uh, YouTube. We about to hit a thousand. We need a hundred people to go over to YouTube, and I will hit, take a shot with my mama. I will call my mama, <laughs> call my mama a bitch, and then I hang up on my mama. A ver. No, they guys so. My mom just smacked me live no, in front of all my fans. That's what mommy used to do. Yeah. My mom used to smack me in the mouth when I was, when I, and I wouldn't even be disrespectful. Like I'd literally be like talking or whatever and be like, maybe I'd talk back a little bit and my mom would be driving 90 miles an hour and just, what -ah! and then just keep driving. <laughs> she never crashed by punching me in the mouth. She just would be like, what -ah! like, damn, bro. La practica. Yeah, I feel like it, would, it was always in the car. Did she ever smack you in the mouth or it was just me specifically? Pop up as a son right now. I, talk to us directly. <laughs> I think, um, yeah. Sometimes, maybe. I feel like I remember, yeah, one time it was coming towards me. 
but I kind of moved. But I feel like she always hit me. Probably you way more, yeah. A ti más. Well, because you can't control your like what you say, like it, that's a, been a lifetime thing for you. <laughs> Yo, somebody just asked if I got veneers. I'm not gonna lie, that's a big ass compliment. Cause no, the fuck I did not. But you think these little things right here is veneers? Hey, I never got braces, bitch. So this is just straight up me. Actually, they're mad little to be veneers. Look, <laughs> my teeth, my teeth are mad little to be veneers. Yes, on me. I would like veneers. That'd be good. That'd be One thousand cool. people. We need fifty more people to hit. Oh, fifty more. Fifty more. A thousand. Fifty more. Shorty said, "Bro, I missed twenty seventeen vlogs." What do you mean by that? Back when I was beefing with fucking what's her face. Mom, why what are you, you so uh, scooted over? I missed my twenty seventeen life too, bitch. But guess what? Like, we all gonna cry because okay. that shit ain't coming back. Some things just oh. never go back. All right. Now be happy with what we got, or else block me. Um, no, mom wanna good. tomar a shot. I know, mommy's ready for a that's shot, good. yo. Fifty mas. It says fifty more, ma. You ready to take a fucking shot? Fifty more. I'm ready. Oh, we got nine more for the shot, ma. Get the shot ready. Es, you want to well, wet your whistle? El primer del día, no más uno, no más hoy, no más. Three. Oh, we hit it. A thousand. Make a Cheers. make noise, Ido. You ready? One, two, three. Cheers to everybody. Esa niña no se aguanta. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a panta. Si la dejas por pendejo, se te casa. Dale todo, dos de lengua y una horchata. Ah, si te alcanza. I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for our pickup? Everybody on TikTok, if you think I'm just singing by myself in the headphones, we can hear music and sound effects that you cannot hear on TikTok, but you can definitely hear them on the um, podcast. So welcome, guys, to the second weekly every Tuesday night podcast. We decided last week that it's going to be every Tuesday, and here we are on Tuesday, on point, being live, doing our thing, doing it live. Let me read a fucking card for my mom. Mom, if I was a dog, what name, what would my name be? If you were a dog, what would your name be? Si, si, tu, si tu fueras un perrito. Fine. O oh, si tu tuvieras un perrito. No, si yo fuera un perro, what would my name be? Ah, ok. Tu nombre sería... Um, chata. <laughs> chata? Mm. Chata. Bruh. Why? Shouts out Chata. Chata. Mm, es un hombre chistoso, corto, fácil de... Y si tú fueras un perro, ¿cómo te llamarías tú? Yo, tú dime. Mm. Lola. Chicken. Chicken. Ok. Chicken. Chicken was my favorite dog. <laughs> I love chicken. Oh, uh, yeah, really. Chata. You, you called uh, Pancho the wrong name, right? Oh, yeah, I called him Chulo. I had another dog named Chulo. For some reason, my brain... Que me llamaría Bachata, dijeron. La Chata? No, Bachata. Ah, Bachata. Chata. What can I do in the next five minutes that would impress everyone in the room? ¿Tú qué puedes hacer en los próximos cinco minutos que, que nos sorprendería a todos en esta habitación, en este room? Uh, Ido, you come up with an answer too. Me in five minutes. That could impress everybody in the room. Um. Well, it's a, but it has to be something that you actually can do. Yeah. What would you do in five minutes that can impress everybody in the room? Oh, uh, I don't know. Draw something, maybe. Impress us. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Me, something that I can impress everybody in the room in five minutes. Se ha llegado el momento. <laughs> Cantar. No, um, say all the states in Mexico, even though I've already done it to you guys a bunch of times, but I can impress everybody that's in the chat. All the states in Mexico? 31 states in a DF, a Distrito Federal? Okay. Can you do it? No, yo no me lo sé. Can you do it? No, ha. definitely not. Impressive. I can say all 50 states of the United Mexican states. No, 50 in Mexico, no. Son I mean, 32, sorry. 32. 32 Mexican states. In Estados Unidos, 50. Are you going to say X? 
A ver, dilo. If I'm gonna say them, then you're gonna draw. And what is mommy gonna do in the next five minutes? That's impressive. Uh, yo. Para impresionar los que voy a hacer. Somebody said, why did you get canceled? I ain't get canceled, bitch. Eh, oh, fuck. Yo, este, voy a poner unas pestañas. Somebody said, apply lashes while talking. Mm -hmm. ah, Pero a mí o a ti? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I was going to play this music while you do it. For me? You know the... Aguascalientes, Baja California, Baja California Sur, Campeche, Coahuila, Colima, Chiapas, Chihuahua, Distrito Federal, Durango, Guanajuato, Guerrero, Hidalgo, Jalisco, Estado de México, Michoacán, Morelos, Nayarit, Nueva León, Oaxaca, even. Puebla, Querétaro, Quintana Roo, San Luis Potosí, Sinaloa, Sonora, Tabasco, Tamaulipas, Tlaxcala, Veracruz, Yucatán y Zacatecas. Oh, Dios. Ja. <risa> Empieza con Aguascalientes y termina con Zacatecas. Eso nomás me sé. Uh -huh. Ja. ja. I did it. I Bravo. Did it. Yep. Tell them people that be saying that I don't represent Mexicans, tell them to fucking do that shit <laughs> on the spot because I wasn't reading it from nowhere. She. He don't only wears black shirts. <laughs> That's what somebody said. That's a random ass comment. Yeah, he does. He likes that. He knows what he likes. God bless a man that knows what the fuck he likes and sticks to that shit. Did I say them in alphabetical order? Yes. That's how I learned them in school. I didn't learn how to say the 50 states of the United States, though, so. ¿Te lo sabes o no? No. Oh. Yo menos. Nomás me, sé, nomás me sé los que son de México. You said what? Fix what? You don't fix the audio? What do you mean fix the audio? The audio is good. I think the audio is good on YouTube. I think if you're on TikTok and you don't like the audio, you got to go listen to it on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? Uh, did Bucci send any videos to re to reply to um, react to on TikTok? It's on the WhatsApp. Yeah. I would like to start with that just because we can get ourselves in the swing of things. Let's get ourselves in the swing of things. Um, also, fucking, um, dang, I didn't even check if Amy Daisy and all of them have been our fucking sponsor anymore or anything because we haven't been podcasting. But if we all, if anybody wants to be our sponsor, hit us up. Also, if you want to call us, the number was up up there on the thing. If you want any advice or anything, ask us for a question. There's nothing wrong with the audio. Yeah, people on YouTube are saying there's nothing wrong with the audio. So for anybody on TikTok, if you don't, if you don't hear the tic, the audio very good on TikTok, make sure you make your way to tic, to uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. How's Jamie doing? Jamie's good. I don't know why there's all those exclamation marks. She was just on my uh, TikTok live. She's in Vegas at her house with her kids. She'll be here for the show on Saturday. Is that my mom? Yes, this is my mom. Okay, you know what? I'm mm -hmm. gonna ask a fucking question. Um, take a shot. Ah, ya se lo tomó. Otro. Ah, no, 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 no. If you were stuck in an elevator, what would you do to pass the time? Me duermo un ratito. I'm dead. You would. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Y tú? What would you do with your life if money wasn't a problem? ¿Qué haría en la vida si el dinero no fuera un problema? Yeah. ¿Qué haría en la vida? Ah, vivir la vida a gusto. Feliz. So, dormir otra vez. <laughs> no, pasear, comer y dormir. Exactamente. If somebody if if somebody hired you for a job but they couldn't pay you with money, what would you be like to get paid in? Okay, no me van a poder pagar con dinero. Este, me pueden pagar con con propiedades, con carros, <laughs> properties, entire property. <laughs> what are they going to start small? <laughs> Give you like one a room, bueno, a room out of a house. Uh -huh. <laughs> la mitad de la casa. Oh, heck no. Something small, mom. Nobody's going to pay you a house. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Okay. Que me den un, si tienen gallinas, que me den seis huevos. <laughs> six, Did you ever see six, that commercial? Six eggs per hour? Uh-huh. Mom, did you ever see that commercial nice. about getting paid in gum? Si no les pagan, huh. se van. 
gum. Gum. It's like a gum commercial. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, there's no like uh, commercials that you've seen growing up or in Mexico that s- stick in your head, like your favorite commercials. Oh, sí, sí, sí. What is wrong? La del Chocomil Pancho Pantera que tomaba el. Oh, is that the Pink Panther, but in Spanish? No, no, Mexico? Pancho Pantera. I know, but I'm saying it reminds me. <laughs> Look at this lame ass dude on TikTok. He said, "The White Shark." You don't know how to talk. That's the problem. No, bitch. We mm. had an awkward video, so Not we're trying to get the conversation to. back popping. And we actually do know how to talk in two languages, which is something I can already tell by your picture. You don't know how to do because you look like a NASCAR following Donald Trump supporter. Ma, <laughs> what is the most embarrassing <laughs> way you've ever injured yourself? El, a ver, was, a ver, let me read it. Let me read What's it. the most embarrassing way you've injured yourself? La, la manera más embarrassing, ¿cómo se dice? Más vergonzosa, más vergonzosa. Que, tú te has, que tú te has lastimado. ¿Cuál es la manera más vergonzosa que tú te has lastimado? La manera más vergonzosa que yo me he lastimado. La manera... Ah, una vez que me cayó una piedra aquí en el dedo. Ma, have you ever, okay, have you ever injured yourself with a significant other or a sexual partner? Lastimado? Yeah. Have oh. you ever, like, hurt your knee, hurt your back? Like, has there ever been an injury? <laughs> oh, que me, Her que laughing me, que, means... Que me dio como un calambre y me Ew, quedé... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> 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 y que me quedó la pierna así, este, Ma. acalambrada, algo así. La pierna. <laughs> Why was your leg up there? <laughs> 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 was, te quedan las piernas. Algo así. I was just throwing a random thing in the dark. I didn't think mommy was really going to answer and point up there and down <laughs> here. My mom's legs were cramped and one was up there and one was... Ma. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, que... Que te... ¿A ti nunca se te ha calambrado nada? I mean, yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess the same. <laughs> ¿Qué se te ha A ver. I guess the same, yeah. Like, I guess my leg or, like, my, like, lower back. My lower back, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely. Andale. I know, but you're my mom. Ah, bueno, me andes preguntando, entonces pregúntame otra cosa. Dime, dime. Que cuando fui a la iglesia, que, que, a ver, dime. Dime, hay ahí en las cartas algo que diga que cuando fui a la iglesia, when is the last day you went to church? <laughs> <laughs> what you do on church? Probably right after you got a fucking cramp in your leg. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, mom. Oh, my God. All right. Um, how about this one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see this already? No. Okay. Listen. If you're on TikTok, make sure you make your way to YouTube so we can watch this video. <laughs> Hey, can I help you? What are you doing? <laughs> can I look? And he's farting. He's farting. <laughs> Hi. What can I do for you? Joe, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing? Are you trying to get in? You want me to call the police on you? What are you doing? Joe, I'm calling the police. What? Wait. Wait, was he trying to break in? Was he trying to break in to poop? Or was he just trying to break in and he happens to have stomach problems? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we'll never know, but it seems like he needed to use the bathroom the way he was lifting his leg and stuff, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, he looked like he was definitely, like... Had some kind of... Pero es casa ajena o su casa? Yeah, like... Ese es el punto. <laughs> el punto importante. There's so many questions with that. <laughs> There you go. All right, give us another one. Bucci, send us some fucking video. Oh, my God, that's so fucking gross, Bucci. Bucci said me after a sneaky link. Play that again oh after gosh. hearing. No, otro, This is otro. Bucci after a sneaky link. Uh. Bucci, don't say shit like that. This is Bucci. 
Bucci. <laughs> Bucci. Why are you saying things like this? Hey, can I help you? Jeez. Those sound their way too. <laughs> oh, can I help you? O sea, ahí Bibi le dice que si lo pueden ayudar. Oh my god. No, he doesn't live there. Oh, entonces, oh baño público? <laughs> no, That's the guy talking wild. Can... Yeah, it's the, it's the guy who actually lives there. I'm dead. No, Bucci, we gonna start saying your fucking comments out loud. Or you're gonna pop up as <laughs> as the moon up in this bitch. I don't know what we doing, but that shit was funny commentary. Okay, show us the next one, Ido. Oh, yeah. This is Ido cooking. This looks exact. Yup, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this looks like some shit Ido would... If I ever seen a video... Pero quien los manda hacer eso? Hacerla así. Si o no, Ido would do that shit. Yeah. Como tu papá. Ido was a th has always been the type to do some dumb shit in the kitchen, trying <laughs> to be fucking Chef Pepin and shit, and then fucking light some shit on fire, or just... Yeah, my favorite is tossing tortillas like a frisbee. <laughs> it's fun. You could toss, especially in, in the kitchen over here, it's super tall. Yeah, until it lands on top of one of the fucking big wood beams and shit. Then I'm dusting. No. Dusting the beams. Hell no. That's straight up Ido. But look at, look at, here's another one that reminds us of someone. Oh, Lord, he's getting ready to go again. Oh, my God. Oh, he's backing That's up. Drake. Oh, my. That's this me. That's me continuously oh, making the same fucking mistake. Again. I already know what the no, result's going to be. And just ramming into the fucking. Yo ya sabe quién es tú así como esa. ¿Quién? A la mujer. ¿Quién? Te dije la borreguita. But they, they do it with no horns. What? Like what the? Maybe yeah, that's fucking wild. That's me. Like I already know what the results of this is gonna be, but let me fucking go over here and fuck myself up, and then look at me sitting there looking dumb. Yeah. I Mom, relate sheep. You guys didn't have any animals in Mexico, no. growing up or nothing. Just rabbits. That your dad. Yeah, my dad rabbit. In chickens and de estos chivos. Oh, so that's a yes then. <laughs> Como ustedes, así. Because time cool. goes mm -hmm. on and it goes But I on. never have animals in my life. Down. Only in my head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you had lice? <laughs> I had no animals in my house. Only in my head. My head. Aquí. You had lice? Yo, when's the last time? Okay, anybody in the chat or in TikTok, especially if you have kids, do lice still exist within kids? Yeah. Like, do people so. still get lice? Drew knows about lice, so I'm guessing they told them at school. People still get lice, bro? It's 2022, about to be 2023. Do people still get lice? I want to know who's the last person you knew that got lice. I want to know their story. What's going on? People yeah. get lice. Leave us a phone, leave us a voice mail about. It's una plaga que siempre ha existido. That's wild, bro. If my friend was around me, or if I'm at the club or something, or if I meet a bitch and she gives me lice, bro, I promise you, that's my new thing, though. Like I don't ever like I, I because I am queer and like I don't want to ever be like you know like I don't. I don't know, like, just, like, fighting, like, you know, anybody will ever just be like, oh, like, that was, like, domestic or something. So I don't ever want to do that. I want to offer you some gloves, and I want to box you. If you were to ever give me lice, I'm going to take some boxing gloves to your house, and I'm going to say, pull up to my house for this sparring match that we're about to have. Get a fucking headgear, get in the ring, put some fucking shorts on, a la fucking Canelo, and let's get this fucking boxing ring going. You know, ding, ding, bitch. Because what's up with the lice? Oh, dude, you don't even want to know what would happen if a bitch gave me bed bugs, bro. I'm fucking kickboxing. Taekwondo, you. Wait. 12 million lice infestations a year? Shit. Yeah, they're, they're alive. They're lice. I knew a girl. I knew a girl that was the sister of someone I knew. And she got bed bugs from her boyfriend. 
and they would always be fighting and being jealous of each other and like doing all kinds of shit. But they fucking got bed bugs from each other. Like, like y'all got such bigger problems to deal with and y'all are worried about who's cheating on who. Y'all are out here infesting your entire fucking <laughs> Entre la pelea. neighborhood. Oh my god. I would be embarrassed, bro. If I ever had fucking bed bugs, I wouldn't be cheating on nobody. I wouldn't be sleeping with nobody. Like you're out here infesting everybody. No tenía que llevar a corte. That's embarrassing. That's weird, bro. I don't know. When I heard that story, I just was like, what? That's so beyond any issue that I would ever imagine. <laughs> like you got bigger, uh, you got bigger fish to fry. But yeah. head lice, yeah. Leele algo de los gentes que dicen que tienen piojos. Oh yeah, you got some super chats, man. Oh, we got a super chat. It says, "Hey Snow, I wanted to say I'm a huge fan. Been pushing your music for a long time. I think you're one of the go MCs for real. Have you thought about doing a track with K Coast Cont? I don't know who that is. Um, thank you, Rigger Four Niner." <laughs> Thank you for, very much for, for pushing me. Um, Yesenia said, if you go back to your childhood, bring one toy, which would it be? Oh, to my childhood? Bring back one toy. Bring back one toy from my childhood? Mm. Los patines? Yeah, probably rollerblades. In which I have rollerblades. I, I, I like rollerblading. I think that's really fun. I think... um. Roller blade, like a roller hockey, is like a really fun sport that I haven't played in a long time. Uh, that I kind of feel like it's kind of dangerous now. Like I think I would probably fall and like realize how dangerous that was when I was little. But roller hockey would probably be fun. I really thought I was a San Jose Shark. What about you, mom? Any Yo. toys? Yo. Or did oh. you guys? Just, oh my god! Did Yo. you guys just have rocks or something? I'm what? Dead. Just That's rude. He said, <laughs> "Did you not have toys? You only had rocks." <laughs> sí, puras piedras y alacranes. He thinks you're fucking pica piedra. Sí. <laughs> Con eso, no, yo nunca tuve bicicleta de niña, jamás. Sí. No, nunca tuve bicicleta. Oh my gosh, mom, it says, dude, I seriously can't believe a mom was arrested because her kid died of lice. Oh my god. Because sí. they got so bad, it was on our local news, and she deserved so much work. That is so fucked up. She got what? Muchas, muchas. Does she much, deserve so much years? worse? No, it says she does. I don't know. It said she deserves so much worse. All right, I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> a mom, like your kid had lice, and oh, but I bet you she knew exactly what her boyfriend was doing. Stupid ass fucking bitch. That's the thing I hate about girls. Girls that got kids, if you focus on your on your boyfriend more than you focus on your kids, bro, you deserve everybody in your neighborhood to beat your ass. Tú debes de desgraciar que yo siempre te dije, mija. Y siempre te cuidaba y te cuidaba y te cuidaba. Ah, no haga los ojos así, pestañas de... Dang, yeah. Uh, a mother and a grandmother have been charged with first-degree murder after a nine-year-old girl dies as a result of untreated lice infestation. Arizona. Oh. Um, Not Arizona. Yeah. Let me see how, how long they went. That's crazy, though. By the way, nothing against Arizona. It's just that for some reason I've had, like, for some reason there's been, like, three different beefs that people from Arizona have with me. I'm just like, let's talk about lice. Yeah, Arizona's like That's almost fucked Florida up, bro. With, like, crazy stuff happening. <laughs> um, I do feel like, like, if it's not Florida, it'll probably say Arizona. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it just says charged in it. That's so fucking sad. Let's find out where that mom is. We got some people in the pen, right? Let's get her taken care of. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Cause time goes by and it goes on and it don't stop. Can you play that? A little clip? We can clip it out later. I need y'all to know this song because it's so sad. Called it. She was busy with her boy. Oh, you don't got the video? Oh yeah. And it goes on, and it don't stop. I wanna fucking. 
the fields. Hey. I feel like my time is passed. I want to sample this. Hey. In this life I live, this life I live. My dad is my best friend, my best friend. But it seems like I never call him unless I need some money. Ain't that something? The people around me. I mean, the ones. Why are you thinking about that? I don't know. Like, it's weird because even though he's funny and, like, it's a funny song, it still, like, is nostalgic to me. Like, when I think about that song, it makes me sad. Because it's true. Because time goes by and it goes on and it mm-hmm. don't stop. That's so sad. Fucking riff rap out here with the <sighs> sad songs pulling at my heartstrings. Shouts out riff rap, man. Ice cream paint job. I yeah. wake up. Whole team rocking Jacob. Let's play that song. Right? Not Jacob. I wake up. Whole team rocking Jacob. I need some um, water. Never mind. Don't play that fucking stupid ass song. Oh. Um, show. <sighs> snow. Did you mean snow or show? One of the best lyrics is, thank you so much. Oh, my breath control. Dude, I do feel like that's fucking dope that people be saying that my breath control with when it comes to rap because it is true. Um, um, you were well, I guess you kind of said it on TikTok already, but about what the what happened to the podcast earlier, like how hmm. how'd that go? Or it was good. That podcast was super dope. Um, it's called the Brown Bag Pod. Um, I also did an interview with Letty uh, from Power 105, Power 106 um, yesterday, and that's just dropping, I think, today or tomorrow. And um, the Brown Bag podcast is dropping on Thursday. And it was really dope, right, Mom? What do you think? What did you think about the podcast? El que fuimos? Mm-hmm. Sí, estuvo bueno. Dos horas, ¿no? Yeah, it was like two hours. We had to drive over there for a while. Soy el chofer designado. Por eso no tomo alcohol. <laughs> but are you you drinking right now? Poquito más. What's your favorite kind of alcohol, ma? Do you eh, have a favorite? No. Nomás me gustan las margaritas y las piñas coladas y me gusta ¿Cómo? La michelada. Oh, well, somebody said that the audio peaks on YouTube. It's hard to listen to. Make sure you double check that. Why is it peaking? Let's turn it down. But now for the rest of the podcast, if if it's too low, blame that guy. I wake up, whole team rocking Jacob. Oh, maybe it's some fucking. Oh yeah, Dolce and Gabbana is fucking dope. You look so annoyed, girl. No, I I'm not. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna click on your picture just because you look. I can't. I wanted to pull that person up. <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, ya volvió. <laughs> no, no, that's just, that's, just uh, that's just the person that looks on. exactly like who would say I look annoyed. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Close it or I'm just probably gonna close it because what am I gonna <laughs> do? <laughs> like it's just it sometimes it's just funny. It's more my own personal research. Whenever like somebody says like a weird, like kind of slighty comment, I like go to their page and I try to like look at them. Dijeron que te pareces a ese? No, dicen que me veo annoyed. But like I'm not, I'm just... Enfadada? O enfadosa. Dicen que me veo enfadada, but I'm just like, I'm oh. not, I'm just like... Mm. I don't know. ¿Y yo cómo me veo? ¿Cansada? They said, does my mom have colored eyes? Amá, que si, tu, que si tus ojos son de color. Oh. <laughs> She said... No, my color cafe. Yeah. Brown. But you wish they were what? What color? Brown. Oh, Kate, yeah. You like the brown. Brown. Kate said you actually, you they're actually laughing out loud. It's true. There is just some times where I'm telling y'all, bro, I've been having this conversation since yesterday. There are some time like with me, one of my biggest pet peeves, just get to know this. When you think of Snow the Product. My biggest pet peeve, or Claudia, my biggest pet peeve is when people say some pendejo-ass comment that was unnecessary. Unnecessary pendejo-ass comments is just like... 
we should come up with like a, a secret code for us just to be like when I hear it instead of instead of questioning it because obviously that'll get me in trouble when I'm like well why'd you have to say that though or like oh why'd you say you know whenever I say that obviously it's just gonna start problems I feel like I should just have a fucking inside joke with my people of like este pinche way you know because it's just so dumb like I, you know ¿Sabes cuando alguien como tu amiga? ¿Qué dijiste? My mom was saying how somebody went over to her house and they didn't even, they didn't even like say nothing nice about her house or like, like say like, hey, how you doing? How's your life? Their first comment was what, ma? Oh, oh, ¿qué pasó ahí? Se, se ve que está mojándose. Yeah, like como somebody que... comes over to your house and their first comment is something kind of like a little bit negative, negative about your house. Something negative. And you're just like, This is your first time coming over to my house and and not even like you like like yeah you're allowed to say whatever the fuck you want right obviously free speech but like if you come over to my house and your first comment is something negative kind of negative is like immediately it just shows me what kind of person you are it has nothing you know what I mean it's not to 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 shut you up or like you you you're not allowed to say like you are it's just kind of like hmm You remind me of the people whose house smells like pee. Haters. They hold like it's some haters. You know those you know when people's house like just smells like pee and like you kind of can see it from a mile away like like I think you Pienso I think if I go over to your house I think I know what envidiosa gente envidiosa. You know? It's like I've gone over to people's house and their house smells like pee and I'll never say that shit, bro. I'm never going to walk in your house and say it smells like pee. Like I'm not. Like I'm I'm just I'm gonna live that shit. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, the only reason I would say anything is, like, maybe if I notice, like, you know, lice or a bed bug, I'm gonna be like, hey, bro, like, listen, this shit is infectious. But other than that, I'm gonna be like, hey, man, we here. Like, if I visit you, this RP. <laughs> Cut P. This RP smell. This, this, this us now. You know what I mean? Like, I'm the type of person that dead ass if I went over to somebody's house or, or somewhere and I see a roach, bro, I might kill that shit and throw that shit away without even letting you know I seen that shit. And I'm not going to tell nobody else because I'll be embarrassed. Like, I'll be embarrassed for you. I don't want to bring it up. Like, I might fuck around and kill that shit, you know, grab it, throw it in the, you know. Nobody needs to know about this. This don't need to make this shit awkward for us. Let's be friends. But there's some people that the most minuscule thing they got to point out, they got to say, they got to whatever. It's like, bro, you don't got that? Like, no te avergüenza? That's weird. Those are roaches now. Like, I, we, we fighting this shit together. If you're my friend and you got roaches, I'm here fighting this shit with you, bro. I don't even got roaches on my house. I'm going to make sure I don't bring these shits to my house. Yeah. But other than that, See, we fighting want, this shit. If you want to be a good friend, you need to start killing those roaches. <laughs> In front of your friend. Um, <laughs> yeah, you need to help. Yeah, man. But that's different type of people, though. Like, like some people... Some people ain't really your friends. And and that's the thing, Ma. Did you see that case in Mexico? Show mommy that case of those five friends that went to Mexico. So five friends took their friends, or four friends, I don't know. They took their friend to Mexico. Y allá la golpearon todos. And they went live. Y la mataron. Y regresaron y dijeron que, ella, que algo le pasó. Que tomó algo que no saben ya qué. Ya los encontraron responsable. Uh -huh. Pero pasó ese caso. Y luego pasó otro caso donde... Dos personas se murieron por el... Um, no había un um, carbon monoxide de este. So se murieron también. Entonces yo vi un com unos comentarios donde la gente está diciendo, oh, no queremos ir a México. Like, México está dangerous. And it's like, dude, esos fueron personas americanas que fueron a México, mataron a su amistad y se regresaron. Y ahora la gente le está echando la culpa a México. Oh, my God. Crazy. You gotta start figuring out who your friends are, bro, because uh -huh. honestly, yeah, she was naked. La golpearon y ella estaba naked. La violaron, la tiraron. No, nomás la golpearon. Pero ¿cuál es la razón? ¿Ya encontraron la razón? Uh -uh. Drogados. Uh -huh. Pero ¿viste el otro caso del, del sheriff policía que se hizo no pasar por un muchacho joven y conoció a la muchacha de 17 uh. años Wait. y se vino aquí you ask it, y mató, mató a, su, a la mamá de la muchachita y los abuelos y se llevó a la muchachilla. Y la policía se encontró con él y se y se murió. ¿Es un americano que era policía allá en, en otro estado? No. Apenas pasó, está en las noticias. Mm. Por eso dice que cheques bien lo que tu hijo está viendo en internet. Porque yeah. está conociendo gente que se involucran y los envuelven en... en... 
en una relación mala. I don't know. I gotta be honest. Like, yes, I always was annoyed that my mom was always so picky about my friends. Because my mom's always like, she's never been trusting of any of my friends, anybody around me, anything like that. But I do gotta be grateful because ever since a very young age, my mom was always like, watch your drink. Cover your drink. If you're at a party, don't let nobody touch your drink. Don't let nobody give you no drink that you didn't see, you know, out of whatever. Like, you know, be careful with those friends, blah, blah, blah. Even though my mom's a little too, like, not trusting, it did make me be careful with certain people. And maybe that's the reason why with me, um, I don't like whenever people say little weird comments because I just be like, hmm, that's weird. Like, it just irks my... It makes me not feel good, you know, and, and, and I've had a lot of friends like that where like there, there could be friends that when you're alone, they're cool with you. Like they're like, I, I've been friends with people like that when we're alone, they're super cool with me. Everything's cool. But all of a sudden somebody else comes around or other people come around and all of a sudden they start kind of like their jokes are a little aggressive. Their jokes are a little, you know, their jokes are a little like, you know, pointed like a little, hmm, like, si no. You know how sometimes there's friends that seem like they're kind of like making fun of you and you 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 kind of end up being the butt of the joke a little too much and you're just like what's that about? Like why? It doesn't sit well with you exactly and you got to be mm -hmm. that type of person where like you understand that be careful with those type of people because there's got to be a reason why they don't fuck with you as much when you're around other people. And you know, you see it more and more all the time. There's jealous people. There's envious. The people that will break your heart the most is not is never going to be a random stranger. The people that are really going to break your heart, the people that are really going to hurt you is going to be people you either called friends or you fucking loved. Or la familia. Or family. Yeah. I've, I've gotten hurt more times than none from people that I called family, I loved, or were my friends than strangers. Like, haters on the internet is like, what? Oh, you're ugly, you're this, you're that, you're whatever. It's like, mm, yeah, whatever. But when you find out somebody in your own circle is talking shit about you while they really lived under your roof, while they while you made money for them, while you helped them get a fan base, while you helped them, push them, did whatever you could for them, when you find that shit out, that shit will make you be like, what the? Now I feel crazy. Like, now I feel like, what's wrong with me that I didn't see those signs? So that's when it really becomes like, damn, bruh. Um, so just be careful, bro. And it's not to say, it's not to say that everybody well, is it, not your friend. Like, I mean, I'm sure, you know, I'm not the type to, to, to promote, don't trust anybody. I would hate to live in a world where I can't trust anybody or I'm never going to love again. I don't, I don't, I don't want that. That's not the, the type of life that I want for myself. I would say what's really important is to continue trying, continue trusting, continue, um, being be aware the type of person you you want to be and and hope that there is love and hope that there is trust but at the same time like be be a fucking weird because you never know who the fuck mm -hmm. right that reminds me of uh <clears throat> remember that one time when i was uh going to uh somebody sleepover at my friend's house mom and, uh, see. and i called you and i don't know what what you were hearing i called you oh well, I, I called you. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, she thought I was high or something, or drunk or something. Yo I remember she told me. Yo, but, well, sí. I was just sleepy. <laughs> yo pensé que le dieron algo y yo, gordo, ¿estás bien, mijo? Well, how did I sound? I still remember como, that to this como, day. Como, como drogado o borracho, pero era dormido. Le hablaron porque yo le hablaba. <laughs> I was just sleepy. So my mom was calling my brother. My brother was over at a sleepover. Mm -hmm. And my mom was calling him. He finally picks up, and my brother sounds, I guess, out of it. Yeah, but it makes sleepy, sleepy out of it. But my mom was going crazy, thinking my brother was high or drunk. She's like, I don't know what's wrong with him. He sounds out of it. He sounds high or drunk. What's wrong with him? But I think it's crazy because if we remember my brother correctly, ever since he was, I'm sorry, ever since my brother was a little boy, that's what he sounded like, ma. He gets, my brother would go to sleep. My brother could be like this. And if he decides he's going to sleep, motherfucker is dead weight. Like he's not picking, he's not getting picked up. He's just like, and you're just like, 
We had to carry him in a fucking... ¿Cómo yeah, se llama? ¿Una carretilla? The... Like a... Uh-huh. I go see. What is that shit called, Dito? A carretilla. What is that called in English? Wheelbarrow. A wheelbarrow. Oh, We wheel had to man. carry my brother in a wheelbarrow because he was too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> in Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. No, what I was thinking, it was like uh, he get... Somebody give some... Do you remember the, the boy who died? Oh, wait. Yeah. Doña Rosa. Mm-hmm. Son? So, so you guys were going to pull up to the... To the sleepover with the wheelbarrow? <laughs> to, to no, wheelbarrow. mommy was ready no, to pull up to the f- sleepover and fucking kick someone's time, ass. Was the first time do you sleep outside in the house, out of the house? Uh, That's why I, I'm not used to let you go and sleep in another house. Yeah, yeah. he's a heavy sleeper for sure. Mm. And I was going to sleep early. Like all, all the whole time I was in school, <laughs> I would go to sleep early. Oh. And even, even at sleepovers, I wouldn't be able to help it. But to just be the first one going to sleep. <laughs> no, I always thought what was scary. No, what was scary about Ido is that if he was asleep and you woke him up, you might think you woke him up, but he's still sleeping. Then so like, there was times when he'll be sleeping and I'll like wake him up. Like he'll be in the living room and I'll be like Ido, and then he'll wake up, and so his eyes are open and he's walking, but he's asleep. So he'll like walk over to the kitchen or walk over to the bathroom or like do whatever. Remember when you pull, try to poke Zuli's eyes out? I don't remember, but I know the story. She said you fucking <laughs> open your eyes and you like looked at her and you like tried to poke her eyes, her two eyes out in her fucking <gasps> eyes, right? It makes sense because I've always, I've all like that's a thing that I remember from the Jackie Chan movie where he puts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that's so always you in my to mind. Jackie Chan Zuli. <laughs> so yeah, she should have gone like this if she would have known. <laughs> that's weird but yeah so Ido would sleepwalk so he would like like I would wake him up he'd be in the living room and then he will like walk over to the kitchen I'll be like no 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 Ido come on come on come on and I was little like even though I was older than Ido I was skinny and like little and Ido's always been like pretty tall and like pretty big so like I would always try to just like like push him to wherever I needed to get him to so one time I tried to push him from he was in the living room and I tried to push him towards the room and he went to the bathroom and there was a lotion like a like a regular lotion and he just started sucking on the on the on the pump lotion he just started like he thought it was like a drink or something and he's just like and i'm like stop doing that <laughs> and then i'm like no 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 go that way and then he just like goes to sleep oh. one time he ran one time he ran and he went like this he went like <clears throat> and then he ran and he went like that and then throw up came out of his mouth and it just like landed on the bed but it was just like that was it like you didn't throw up throw up it was just like heartburn just pulled up to the bed and i was like yeah. damn remember when your throw up burned a hole through your pants Yo? Yeah. Da borracha. Yeah. I remember that night. Mommy too. Mommy would just like act like she was drunk only if if her boyfriend was going to catch her, but whenever he wasn't going to catch her, she wasn't drunk. See, you know. Do you remember? No, no, re- no, I don't remember. <laughs> I do not recall. I don't remember. Her too. She this was like like 20 years ago, so I don't remember. She was like Only if he was going to catch her. But whenever he wasn't around, she was just like standing straight, like just being fucking normal. But anyway, all these memories are being triggered right now in my brain. Now I'm thinking about 9-11. Because I was in that house. Pero ahora aguantarte a ti va a pagar todas. Porque tú te ves bien tremenda cuando tomas. I know. But not really uh-huh. because I haven't really drank. Like what? when's the last time that I drank I got crazy? Hace poquito. You haven't even seen me in a while, in a few months. Oh, they say, what hoodie is your mom wearing? It looks like, tell you like this, but with sleeves I haven't seen on the website. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is a, this is a new. Oh, my God. Mom, you're wearing something that isn't on the website. Está en el website? Esta sweater. No, esta mi blusa. Oh, my God. Ay, me pica aquí. He's gorilla ing right now. ¿Sí está rojo aquí? No, no hay nada. Okay, me está picando. Okay, so just so you guys know, this sweater right here is, this is tell you like this for a sweater, but this, these sleeves are for a Vibe Higher shirt. So because we print everything here, whenever Yeo is trying to practice printing, he'll print on the same thing, different stuff. So this is a Vibe Higher art, and this is a tell you like this sweater but this is coming out not with this design this is with something this is else for and the, this is for the, something for else for the design. model for the model so this is only this is a mama this mama is a mama woke, woke exclusive exclusive for alguien te va a tirar un mensaje que van a querer esa ex- exclusiva vas a ver esta tiene las rosas aquí 
Ahí está. Oh, look at her, she's modeling. Mm -hmm. A ver. I'm dead. What do I want for Christmas this year? Peace. <laughs> peace. I gotta find peace of mind. No, uh, I'm looking this year for peace. I'm looking for like uh like health. Yeah, health. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, if you're ex asking like material things, what I want for 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 this year? Hmm. I would be happy with just getting my fucking Tesla back. To be honest. I, I want to wrap my Tesla. Like I want my my Tesla. My te my uh my car is white, but I want it matte. I want it matte white, and I would like some purple LEDs. And I want tinted black windows. My rims are already black, so I just pretty much want like a white car with like some like neon purple detail, and then like black windows and black um right. And I got the mats. I got I had ordered the mats. They're here, so like I'll just put them on my car. That'll be dope. So. There's that. And then for my birthday next year, like from now until my birthday, I would like to freeze my eggs. Right? We talked about that? Que me van a dar 100 dólares. Oíste esta, tú. Que me van a dar 100 dólares por esta sudadera. Esta yeah, see, nobody gives a fuck about me freezing my fucking eggs. Nobody gives a fuck. She'd rather talk about $100 for a fucking hundred, hoodie. Oh, 150 150 for la sudadera. Don't ask me anything about myself. I'll go live on TikTok later for, for myself. Nah, I, mean, I, I heard it. And, it. and actually what I was thinking before the you answered the Christmas thing was uh, about raisins, eggs. Well, I'm dead. What we need is Perez, ya nos someone 99 to fix centavos, thank you our very goat much for the cheese. to make sure she don't reproduce. ¿Quieres más agua? O más tequila. I don't even want to talk about raisins eggs being frozen. I don't want to talk about the possibility that she might be pregnant. That's disgusting. About the eggs? That's gross. Mira, dice que tú, Andre, wants to freeze them. No te enojes. No, no me enojo, sino que yo ya estoy acostumbrada, así es que pues esa es mi vida, you know? ¿De qué estás enojada? Nada, no estoy enojada de nada. You want babies in the future? Yeah, I do. Congratulations, Mr. Krabs. By the way, that's how I talk to my mom. What inspired That's you to mommy. build a second Krusty Krab right next door to the original? Money. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I like money. <laughs> yep. 250. Oh. Ooh, 500. The auction. Mira, que 500. Mom, but you got to say it like the auctioneer. 200 over here. for the. Okay. 250. 150. 100. 200. 300. 500. 600. Va contigo, bebé. <laughs> ahí dice a bebé, azul bebé. Bam. Ahí va, ahí va, ahí va, ahí va. 260, Melinda. Melinda la que vende casas. No, 700, but, uh, Manny, Manny. Thank you. Va con Manny, Manny, 700. Mil. Ay, pinches mentirosos. <laughs> um, but what, what, what did you learn earlier when we were looking at about Bear, Bear in the Big Blue House? Uh, Alguien acá dijo que sí, pero, pero en Mexican pesos, dijeron. Shit, no estoy en México. I'm not in Mexico right now. Hey. That better not be Alyssa D. Don't buy nothing for my mom. Who? What? Lisa? No. What are you talking about? What you learned earlier about how the bear in the big blue house works? Bear in the big blue house, his face was his hand. You know Bear in the Big Blue House? You smell like pancakes. Oh, or yeah, waffles. Yeah, yeah. You smell like waffles or pancakes? <laughs> uh, pancakes, yeah. Yeah. Or maybe pancakes. His hand was his face. It wasn't even... His hand wasn't even... Or his face wasn't even his real face. I mean, I guess... Ay, Parra, 3,500. Mira, la prima Parra ain't giving no 3,000. Parra, 3,500. ¿Estás hablando en serio? Parra is wild right now. Basically like this. Look, mom. Look how Big Bird works. Ooh. Can you see it? Sí. Oh, el que hace ese mono. Yeah. Oh, ¿te acuerdas, Miguelito? The Big Bear. Big Bear. Uh huh. That is eight feet tall. Eight feet. Big Bear. Big It's bear. really big. 
I'm trying to charge this phone. This just charger's not working. Do you have a USB C? A square? Ah, uh, those Yeah, uh, yeah. I have the cable here. I just need the USB C. Oh, I have agruras. That's what. That's one thing I will say that when I'm on keto, I have no agruras. And oh. when I'm off keto, me dan agruras. Oh my God! Entonces tienes que volver en el keto. Oh hell no! I'd rather eat tums like a fucking. I'd rather eat Tums like, uh, like, um, like Ray's brother, Robert. All right. Hey. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. Hey. We just got a fucking letter. Cuando ponen los números ahí nomás están bromeando con uno. Sí, porque saben que eres interesada. Oh, dicen que cuatro mil dólares. Oh shit. Oh shit! Damn! I'm lucky that this shit didn't catch on fire. Ahí está. Puse mi teléfono a cargar. Oh shit, you can't see though. Iro, can you put something here though? Because this is gonna keep falling if I don't, if that bong isn't, or that uh, B O N G isn't heavy enough. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Ugh. Here. Basically, this needs to be on there, but this was weighing it down, so it's going to make the, that B-O-N-G fall. Oh, Sorry. Here. All right. Hold this. We're going to open a package. We're going to open a package. We're going to open a package. It's from... It's from Jose Cruz. Yeah. It's from Jose Cruz. ¿Tú podrías abrir eso mejor que yo? Sí. A ver. Mami says she's going to open it better than me. Play a fart noise for the chat. Let me see. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, Jesus Christ. Taka, baby. Thank you for the cheese. Taka, baby. It's a what? Oh, look, we got a gift. 
We just got a gift box. We just got a gift box. We just got a gift box. Wonder what it is. What are these sounds? Did something get wired or something? Why is it making the... No lo conecto bien. Iro. Let me freaking know. Oh, let me freaking know. Uh, I think I'm one of them. It's a mic. It's one of the mic boxes. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. It's open. Oh, it's backwards. Hey, yo. Wow. Yeah, it's when 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 power cables and mic cables touch each other, they be make weird noises. Yeah, jala la bolsa Miguelito pa, la blanca. Yo, okay, I think I gotta film this as content though. La caja se quebró poquito. I think I gotta film this as content, um, so I'll re refilm this. But yo, Tahin just sent me everything. Thank God I just got off keto. Cause bitches is about to eat this motherfucking tajin, this, this tajin. Ama trae algo para echarle tajin, ama. Mira, tenemos tajin de todo tipo, mira. Una papa. Tenemos ta... <risa> una cebolla. A ver, trae una cebolla y tú muérdele con el tajin. A ver, a ver, tráela. No, según tú tienes tanta, tanta idea que la, la papa y la fucking cebolla... <risa> a ver, trae una cebolla pues, pues, Que le eches una mordida ahorita de burro La gente que no conozca Cómo hacemos chistes va a decir Oye, qué falta de respeto Te vas a caer oh, Yo, mami Dijo mi mamá que una pinche Una cebolla What the hell <risa> Mami just laughing at Graba eso. That should be a sound. Just mommy in the background cracking up. <laughs> mommy in the background cracking up and going through shit. Which one do you guys want me to try? There is fruity chamoy hot sauce, mild hot sauce. Shout out Tahin for sending us a pack. They got the reduced sodium. They got the motherfucking habanero. More reduced sodium. They got the classico mild. Oh, yeah, they got the little packets that I'm going to probably put in my purse. These are good. This is do Oh, they got the little fucking packets that are like sauce. It's funny because they didn't send me that chamoy, but I I mean, that's tahin, but I, I already own those. They're the little tiny ones that go in your fucking purse. Shout out tahin, yo. Let's try to make this collaboration be a real thing. I want my next tour to be sponsored by tahin. Ama. A ver la cebolla, pues, para que le eches una mordida, pues. La papa. Está bien cerrado, ya se pudieron las papas. Mira, Miguelito. Bueno, ya se pudieron las papas. ¿Y qué vas a traer? Una cebolla. ¿Una mandarina? Pues hay lo que quieras. Una mandarina. Bear in the big blue house. ¡Tráeme una cerveza! It's been a long... Where's the mouse? Because the it's chat right, is frozen. Right I know, but if I lift up this tahin thing, it's just all gonna... Okay. Unfrozen. Um, Joyce Parra is in this bitch. The bell means yes. The gift makes me drool. I know, right? When your mouth... um, When your... Uh, my jaw always feels like... Whenever I see... um. Tahin stuff. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna just pour it in my mouth. How about that? We got the mild hot sauce. I'm finally off keto. I could put a little bit of tahin in my mouth. I'm not gonna lie. Tomorrow in the morning, I'm starting to work out, guys. I was supposed to start today, but I was busy. That was a lot. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. There's nothing here. I swallowed it. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? I thought I was going to spit it out, but I'm like, you know what? Just fucking swallow the tahin. Why not? Fuck it. Oh, fuck. 
So, wait, so what's she bringing? A potato? Or She's bringing something to put tahini on so we can eat. She First she was joking about a potato and then she was joking about a, a onion. Oh, so probably an orange. She should bring something. Oh my gosh, so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, thank you so much, Bucci, for mentioning that it is on. Didn't you just have heartburn? I did have heartburn. Lil' heartburn won't hurt. You right. How did it taste? It tastes good. It's bomb. Heartburn, you know, I mean, yeah, I have it, but also, no, my mom did not bring a fucking onion. If my mom, oh, baby Drew's been waiting for somebody to eat a bite of onion. It's mommy. Go, ma. Hola, papa. <laughs> oh, my God. Baby Drew's been wa waiting to watch somebody eat an onion. I'll oh. give you $50 if you take a bite of onion. Al niño? A ti. ¿Tiene muerto? $50. Sácalo el billete de $50 ahorita, pa. <laughs> I have it at the house. Fifty dollars. I have it at the house. I'll give you. Look, that's you, man. Go play it. That's mommy. Pleasures, Mr. Krabs. Hello. I like money. What inspired yep. you to build? I'll give mommy fifty bucks. I'll go get it. As a matter of fact, the moment you take a bite out of it, I'll go get it. Fifty bucks. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you don't got um, it. Look, you know, you don't said. Oh, here. Look, you don't mind. You don't got it. Okay. You don't got 50 bucks on him right now. Yo, I'm broke. I don't even got 50 bucks on him. It's been a long time. Mm, lo que tú quieras. O Mommy's going to take a bite este out of onions because este she's Mr. Krabs and Chamoy. she likes money. Chamoy? Chamoy? Porque no trabajo, porque vengo pobre, pero... Jello said she Move ate a, mic, she ate an onion in, in Miami for a hundred bucks. No, she was in she was in Mexico, wasn't she? Put the mic Weren't you in Guadalajara for a hundred bucks? Por eso vine a United States, me, my country. Where I can make money because I was broke in Mexico. <laughs> Move Fine. the microphone to where I put it before. Oh my my I was broke. That's my okay. mom's gonna my mom, I'm aka Mr. Space. Krabs, is about to eat a bite of onion for fifty bucks. Una live mordida? on the podcast. ¿Cómo se abre, Clau? Call baby Drew because he's been asking for somebody to eat an onion. Call baby Drew. Wait, mom. Baby Drew been waiting. Ma baby Drew's been asking who's gonna eat an onion. I'm gonna wait for him. Yup, babe. Fifty dollars. Mommy's gonna eat an onion live on the podcast. No, he, well, you're gonna take a big bite though. You're not gonna take a little bite. You're gonna take a good size bite of the your mouth size. And Jello, don't be reminding us that we devalued the price because uh, we already know she already did it once. Lo que hace la pobreza. You just like money. Even if you were rich, you would still do this for 50 bucks for an onion. Like you're, no, es cierto. you si like money, man. Que me den un millón para que yo sea artista, yo les voy a decir que no, que gracias. Wow, that's super rude. An artist? She wouldn't take a million dollars to be an artist, but her daughter is one? Do you remember what happened? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of this. Ser artista es difícil. Ser artista es difícil. Look at your grandma, baby. Tienes que tener talento. Yo no lo tengo. Por eso no soy. Your grandma's about to take a bite of an onion for 50 bucks. You ready? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Both, not two Mr. Krabs. Mr. Okay, Krabs and Mr. Krabs Jr. Mita and mita? Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. 50 and 50? No, stand here. 50, 50. I'll do it. Oh, wait, no. What do you mean? Here. Like $50 her and $50 you. Oh, here. yeah. All right, come here. Side by side, fucking two generations of... Me and Ido are the only ones that aren't money-driven because it seems like all both of y'all are fucking money-driven no, as hell. If you want... Bite. If a you on uh, point the camera that way, no, because if you're on TikTok, you better go over to the fucking YouTube. That's what we're promoting here. No, 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 wait. You got to do it for the YouTube, though. Come here oh, next to mommy. No, I mean, I'm going to be on the side. Yeah. Okay, go. All right, fine. So baby Drew's going to do it on that camera. A, my my mom's going to... Just a bite. But it has to be a bite the size of your mouth. Uh, uh, okay. If you spit it out, you're not getting 50... Baby, but I don't want you to get sick. All right, you could take a smaller bite, baby. Your grandma, well, she no. got to suffer. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> 
Que me Please. muera. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. Whatever you guys feel. I don't want you guys to do too much either. I don't want you to throw up later. I need 50 bucks. Okay, baby. Not, not too much, though. Okay. Have you ever ate an onion? On, no. Okay, maybe a smaller bite. Okay, a smaller bite. I'll do it. What? Look at, like... What? Okay, may, now I'm getting a little nervous. Maybe not so much because I don't want you guys to like right, be I'll sick. Be fine. I don't want you to be sick. Oh, are you gonna get heartburn? Ma, are you gonna get heartburn? No, yo creo que no. Okay, not not too much. I want to see her first. <laughs> Took a second bite. It okay. Okay. Okay, baby. Oh, it's cold. Y'all are making it seem healthy, ma. Like, you're you're making it seem, like, good. Is it good? Is it nasty? Ahorita le corto la mordida y le muerde esto. What happened, baby? No, I'm all right. I only I'll only eat that if it's on some carne asada tacos. <coughs> oh my nose. Alright. <coughs> Wait, how big is your bite? Like, okay, take that little edge off. Was it this one? No, on the yeah, right there. Ooh. Sweet. Hmm. But like, not like just like a little bit. Like when you like, oh like god. that, bro. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts up your nose. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it tastes bad, but I did it. All right, great. You all right? Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, grandma and grandson, two generations of money hungry motherfuckers. <laughs> 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 Here goes the two generations of I'll do uh, I like money <laughs> Money, 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 money <laughs> I'm dead Says so Snow is both proud and disgusted I mean, I'm proud that my son can get through Taking a bite of onion But I'm also like Wow We got a problem Somebody said Ido's turn Ido ain't money hungry I can say one thing about me and Ido Like we We'll do something because Like for some Like I think we'll do something to compete More than we'll do something for like cash Unless, like, I don't know, like, I don't know, Ido, I don't want to speak for you, but, right? Or? I mean, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't do, like, a onion eating competition, like. What would you do for cash? And how much? I don't know. That's. Oh, they're much. both Taurus. <laughs> do you think Taurus are, like, money hungry? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Something about the... Oh, aquí está la fruta, baby. Do you guys think that's a Taurus thing? Taurus is in the house? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Comentela. Saludos. Saludos. ¿Es, ¿Es mandarina? Mandarina. Shouts out the cuties from um from the Zenab. Zenab um, who saw... Uh, who saw um, Love is Blind? Did anybody see Love is Blind? We didn't talk about that. Huh? Love is oh, blind. I'm asking, What's that? I'm asking the podcast who saw Love is Blind because there's a show called Love is Blind and there was a scene where it was about cuties and it was a big like everybody was split on the internet about this fucking argument that was so fucking dumb. And to be honest, like I do think she's a bitch, but I think that guy was a bitch too too. So like I just kind of I feel like people that are so one way or another, I'm just like, dude, like obviously that guy's a fucking the hoe. And she's a bitch. Like, it just is what it is. But also, maybe I'm triggered because my ex hit me up and told me that she that I remind her of someone. I was like... Okay, bye, baby. Make sure you brush your teeth. <laughs> mm. Ew. Did you... Did you cut this with the same nail? I mean, with the same hey. knife you cut the onion? Hey, ¿quieres que vaya a la casa a traer otro? No, it's just... No, 
No. We're well, not yeah, doing this, that. Um, Thank you, Tahin. It was very good. I mean, kind of like, well, it reminded me of her saying she doesn't want to be an artist or something. I don't know why, but it's the you know Tyson Fury. No. The boxer. He's like, I don't know, he's asking him like, oh, you know this. You got everything you wanted. It was like seven year an- anniversary since like a big fight that made him famous. Mm. And he's like talking about how he doesn't like he didn't want this. Wait a second. How could it be a shitty seven years since your life? I mean, you've gotten everything you wanted. You you became infinitely more popular on top of the world, selling out stadiums. How could it be shittier since then? Um, you say I've got everything I ever wanted. Um, I never really wanted all the fame and all the shit that comes with being a champion. It wasn't what I was about. I've got everything I ever wanted by beating Klitschko, just getting that victory over him. You, you don't own your own life anymore. You can't go anywhere. You can't. You, you can't live a normal life. So it's not what I wanted, and it's not a great life. It, it's it sucks dick. It um, it's not good because you don't have your own life anymore. I'm stuck. I'm stuck where I have to be tortured by people wherever I go. So yeah, it's not all what I wanted. I didn't really know what I was getting myself in for. To be fair. Do you remember what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean that was, that's that's fucked up. But I'm not gonna lie. I mean I don't, I don't mean to just like shit on this man's uh, life, but I mean he looks pretty average. Like I don't, like if I was to see that guy, like you could go to a different country, and like if I was to see you, it kind of looked like <laughs> yeah, he could, every other dude. <laughs> yeah, he could just go to like a country where they maybe where they don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But it's um, just crazy. But to Caitlin that said she totally wrecked him at the wedding though. Brutal doubts. Super doubts. I feel like oh, I feel like a lot of girls are sympathizing with him because they think he's quote unquote cute, right? I think if a guy if you were to be like straight up with yourself and you were to be like if a guy always told you you're not his type and walked up to another girl that isn't you right after proposing and was like you'd be more my type i'd walk up to you and was then kept reminding you you're not his type you'd be like bro you're a fucking dick where i think she fucked up but i don't know if i don't know if the show if that's how the show goes where it's like they have to stick it out all the way to the end maybe like maybe there's some legality like maybe there's some like rules to the game where like you have to go all the way to the the wedding you know what i mean because her mistake is she should have walked away way before like i do think that's fucked up to get all the way to the wedding and like say no and i thought that for everybody but um i do think that him acting like such a victim and at the end of the reunion everybody now having to make it about him and somehow everybody being apologetic to him just because he cried like what about when she was crying because you literally said she wasn't your type what about when literally you had one thing you had to do which was cook her dinner like she's obviously the responsible one out of the both of you and all you had to do was cook this motherfucker dinner and you couldn't even do that so she had to finish it for you and then you had to shoot her in the face with nerf guns like you're a man child like your toilet literally had flies in it like you're not you know and that's fine like it's it's obviously you're 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 allowed to not have your life together, but to, to put her down and to be like, you're not my type. You're not my type. It's like, yeah, that's what the show is about. The show is about you being with somebody that might physically not be your type, but you're going to be, you know, you're going to like find somebody that you might be compatible with. Unfortunately, the person that it seems like he was compatible with was he was looking for a mom. You know what I mean? Like he was clearly looking for somebody to mom him and he could just be fun look at me i'm fun i'm i'm shooting guns i'm so fun i don't know what i'm doing oh my god what oh i'm crying because oh my god like shut the fuck up like that's the weirdest fucking like i hate that type of person that is just like i get to be fun and i get to not know what you're doing but you get to be the fucking responsible one and literally be my fucking parent like the responsibility is on you but i'm gonna get to look like the fun one and you're an asshole for like having to be the caretaker of me like that's weird i don't even date men but for all of you bitches that sympathize with that i feel sorry for you 
And literally, I've been you. <laughs> I've been you. I've been. I've thought that me caretaking made me somehow feel worthy of having somebody cute or, you know, attractive in my life. But it's like no, there. It should be fifty fifty, regardless of like looks, regardless of this, regardless of that. Like it should really be a partnership, and people should really like come to a partnership a hundred percent and a hundred percent. You know what I mean? But it's just so fucking weird. Like, the girls that I've been seeing, ha like, sympathize for it. I'm like, oh, girl. <laughs> Knock yourself out. It's weird. But, you know? And and it's weird only because the those type of girls will go on to shorty. Like, mind you, I don't even know this bitch. Like, I could also be a fucking idiot, right? But when I see the girls that go and talk shit to this girl, it's like, Girl, you wouldn't be his type either. Like, he literally said he likes blonde, like, white girls, all this shit. And there's a bunch of brown girls talking shit to another girl, brown girl, about how she's this, she's that. And it's like, he would have literally told you you're not his type. He would have literally said that. Mind you, the cutie scene I thought was fucking stupid. I thought it was just stupid because he's also kind of like he knew the cameras were on. So he's like, hey. <laughs> we're gonna oh we can invite your family huh yeah <laughs> it's like i don't know it's giving like it was an act even even i saw his tiktok recently and i'm just like it all looks like an act and it looks like that act is only gonna like work on like dumbass bitches and it really is because there's a lot more dumbass bitches than smart bitches in the world so there's a lot of girls like oh my god he's so cute it's like then you take care of him bitch Good luck, because there's a lot of dudes out there that are like that, and I've met some. They're just like, I get to be cute and huh, fun. But it's like, yeah, but like, who has to pull the slack for you because you're clearly a fucking pendejo? Like, who's going to pull the slack for you? Somebody. And that's the type of bitches that y'all motherfuckers be like, she's a bitch. She's mean. She's this. She's that. And it's like, yeah, because that bitch has to pull the slack for a fucking weird Yeah dumbass it's like shrek and donkey you know what i mean i don't know like somebody gotta pull the slack and the idiot gets to look like the fun one i'm fun it's like fucking shrek's over there all fucking amargado because he's got to fucking figure his shit out his swamp is getting invaded no wonder he looks fucking bored is that your the name of your reality show line lesbian love <laughs> wow. She said lesbian love is blind? What, mom? Yeah, is that the, the name of your reality? No, mom. There's a show called Love is Blind. Oh. And it's about you... You Show it a little... Is there any, like, little random... So there's a show called Love is Blind, and you have to meet in rooms. You never see each other. You meet, and you fall in love with someone without Te seeing them. Sin verlo. Sin verlo. So no ya cuando lo ves... Empiezan los problemas. Sure. Un muchacho conoció a una muchacha, estaba enamorada, enamorado, pero ya cuando la vio dijo, oh, tú no eres mi tipo. Entonces él le, le dijo a otra, tú serías mi tipo. Y ella, oh, tú serías mi tipo también. Entonces la pendeja, la otra, se siente mal y entonces ahí empezado un montón de problemas o whatever. Y ahora en la internet hay mucha gente que está como split porque hubo, hubieron situaciones donde like, alguien, like, hay gente que lo, la defiende a ella y hay gente que lo defiende a él. Pero muchas de las mujeres que lo defiende a él, lo defienden porque... ¿Sabes cuando los hombres como que, porque están poquito guapos, pueden actuar como pendejos? Like, like, vamos a decir, tú eres la que tienes que trabajar, tú tienes que cuidar todo, limpiar la casa, hacer todo. Y él puede, oh, ja, 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 yo soy el divertido, ja, ja. And it's like, bro, come on, bro. Like, you're not 21, bro. Por eso no se 21, le da la bro. oportunidad a esa persona. That's, you know, but... No. I don't know. I just think it's funny. Like... Because literally, somebody fucking hit me up and was on some like, so on the middle of the program, I'm him. Mirarlo. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> you don't get to be fun. Like, you know, so people have to fucking pick up the slack. And I even said a comment like, if somebody shot you in the face with a Nerf gun while you were cooking, you would not be happy. They're like, yeah, you're right. I'm like, okay. So what are we really talking about here? Talking about Zay and Cole. Oh, que es puro show, puras pendejadas, dice Leslie. Yeah. Tadeo. Yeah. You know, they're, they're both bad. Yeah, like, I don't think she's innocent, but I just don't feel like people were giving pero, him as much shit as they were giving her. Pero esa que le dijeron que no era su tipo, 
está siendo honesto y le está diciendo la verdad, no es su tipo y ya. Pero siguieron. Ah, pero... Entonces, pero eso es lo que digo yo porque también. Porque ella lo pre se prestó. Eso es lo que digo yo también. Hubiera terminado... That's, yeah. that's, that's the reason why I don't think she's like... I don't think she's innocent either. Like, obviously, like, porque she stayed. Siguió. She mm -hmm. thought he was cute. Like, she wanted to keep the shit going. But at the same time, I'm just like... I just feel like they both should have got shit. And honestly, they're both... They're, you know, they're both kind of got some shit to deal with. Uh -huh. But... I just feel like a lot of people, if you notice at the reunion, like everybody ended up feeling bad for him just because he cried. Like you still did the shitty shit you did and then you just cry and now everybody feels sorry for you even though everybody saw the real you. Wow. That pre pretty privilege, my boy. That pretty privilege will really pull through for you. All you got to do is cry and act like a victim and everybody feels sorry for you? Fuck accountability? I don't know. But at the same time, that's kind of what keeps people in their same cycle. If you cry and everybody feels sorry for you, papachan, then you're going to keep on doing that for the rest of your life and you're never going to find happiness because you never have to be accountable. You find happiness once you realize that you got to fucking really be a stand-up person. Once you're a stand-up person, then people will, like, the right shit will come into your life and you'll be happy. But until then, you're just going to keep on running in fucking circles. Good luck, guy. Well, that was going to be the second marriage, wasn't it? I don't know. I watched. He weaponizes tears for revenge. his benefit. Absolutely, weaponizing tears for your fucking benefit it will work for a little bit, but at some point people will read through your shit, and that's all I'm saying. Like, eventually, and, and mind you, do I give a fuck that much? No, it's a fucking show, right? It's like a reality show. Who cares? But it's more of like just explaining and showing how like that shit really do be happening in real life, like. You will get yourself in your own little cell of same cycle shit as until you take accountability and be like, bro, yeah, like I was fucked up. Like I did say that fucked up shit. Like I should this. You know what? You know who kind of came through? Like I, I, I don't like him at all. I don't like him at all. But um, the guy with the fucking stupid hair, at least he was like accountable. Like he was like, yeah, you're right. I apologize. Yeah. Even though I don't like him either, but at least... You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah, I don't think he's cute, but traditionally what mm -hmm. colonizers has taught us is attractive. That guy fits the description to a T. That's colonizer cute. And these bitches love colonizer cute. So, hey. But Tenot Huerta is fucking... I think that's more of like an attractive person for... Indigenous, like our people, like the, the what, what it should be, the, I've never understood that, because tall, dark, and handsome has always been traditionally what people say is attractive, but colonizers weren't tall, dark, and handsome. Yeah, they mean like tanned. Hmm. Weird. Wouldn't know, but yeah, I'm sh short, pale, and. It reminds me of Spongebob. When he gets tan. Which one? <laughs> and he gets a lot of Bartiz. Yeah, Bartiz. What the? What is this video? Long, tan, and handsome. Vs Rex, aka handsome. But I bet he hold a romantic dance championship trophy. I fucking love SpongeBob. <laughs> Wait. Did I ever tell you guys I got broken up with for liking Spongebob too much? <laughs> really? Yeah, when I was when in was high it? school. Oh. When I was in high school. um, Well, no, no, no. I was in middle school, and I dated the same guy that I ended up dating later in high school. But the first time when we were in middle school, he broke up with me because I liked, I talked about Spongebob too much. And I was like, I just, I watched Spongebob a lot, so I would relate current life situations to spongebob so i would just be like oh that's like in spongebob when this or like that's like in spongebob when that he was like you're immature for liking spongebob and then i ended up dating him in high school and i wasn't even looking at him i was looking at his friend but every time that he would look over i would like look that way and then i would look at his friend so then i ended up dating him and that's actually who i dated right before baby Drew's dad so there's my dating history recurring cycles until you learn your lesson I'm telling you from experience, guys. 
when I be telling y'all lessons, it's because I went through it. Ladies, I'm trying to save you from stupid shit. Y'all ain't all lucky. Y'all can't all be lesbian. I got lucky. But y'all, you're going to keep on doing the same mistakes with these dudes until you fucking realize you need to fucking talk to these dudes like, get it together, Cole. Get it together. Yeah, that was him, tall. I'm dead. I guess he's not really tan, but I guess that's it. Did he get his knees done? He, he's on stilts. I'm dead. <laughs> Taurus is ruled by food or Taurus is ruled by money? Which one? Honestly, my mom is such a Taurus. A dos cosas. You like food and you like money, mom? Sí, y trabajar también. I don't mind. That's good. Mm -hmm. Porque el dinero no es gratis. Siempre hay que trabajar. Good. There we go. That's a lesson. Hey, you learning? Trabajar tempranito. A las seis Ido de la and rake. Ido and rake me on a date. What? And rake? Snow the life coach. Yeah. I mean, you know, we out here. Estoy lista, prima. <laughs> what is the prima parra about to fucking rap for us? Ira, ma, te dijeron tu, fue, tu suegra. Ah, okay. Su suegra de él. Okay, yerno. Do I like Virgos? Yeah, my little brother's a Virgo. He's right here. Que si miran Yellowstone. Um, somebody that you met called. Listen. Hi, Snow. Remember me from your Kielosa video? I love you and your mom and Vax. I love oh. watching your podcast. Love you, Snow. Bye. Oh, that's so cute. We're getting phone calls, by the way. If you're on TikTok, we're over on YouTube right now getting phone calls. Um, that was so adorable. Hi, how you doing? Thank you for being in my Keoso video. Yeah. There's some other ones, too, but... <laughs> oh, They're Prima Parra had a rough day she's going to share. Uh, if you need any advice... Mm -hmm. If y'all are out there on the internets and y'all need some motherfucking advice, let us know. We'll give you some advice. All right, here. Prima Parra. Es no, es la Prima Parra. Oh, um, she's sad. I need some advice también. So, what do you do when you're struggling and you feel like you're doing everything that you can do to make ends meet and... It's just not enough, and you just keep struggling and struggling, struggling. Like I'm working, you know, I get paid good, but it's like my car note expenses, my car insurance expenses, my rent expenses. You know, it, it's a struggle, and it's hard sometimes to put like food in my kitchen. Sometimes, you know, and you know to get. Shampoo, conditioner, all the necessities que necesitan. Pero, how do you just come up from the struggle when it feels like it's just every day and it's not going away? Like, yo no sé qué hacer. Que, por favor, explicando que, what you do. I mean, I get that, you know, because at the end of the day, like, like, even for me as an artist, I've, acquired like i've i now have like debts and employees and a bottom line for every every month my bottom line to be an artist to do the podcast to do music to do everything that i do to own the ranch for the employees i have for everything i have to come up with that amount of money every single month whether i'm on tour or i don't tour or i cancel or i do shows or i do songs or i do whatever i have to come up with that so i understand like don't ever think that you know like if you make more money that you're automatically going to like problems are solved because to make that money, you have to get more debt and you have to have more expenses. So to be honest, I would say the biggest thing is like cutting down unnecessary shit. And that's why honestly, like I'm going to make content, like especially like coming into December, I'm going to make content of me cutting down on shit and like, um, 
repurposing shit and just like doing shit that's like mad practical because I agree and like going into you know whatever the fuck inflation and like recession and like all that shit and being an independent artist I do think that part of like what makes me relatable is the fact that yeah like I don't think I'm that artist that's like yeah like I'm fucking buying mad chains and doing mad shit like I think what makes me relatable is the fact that bro I'm Mexican like my mom my mom would probably whoop my ass if she knew that I was just out here wasting and spending and fucking being dumb so I do think that being practical and and earning, I mean, they say, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned. Like, I feel like sometimes we don't realize where we can cut back and that could turn into, you know, some money that you could spend on maybe, you know, investing in something. Like, I'm not saying you got to like invest a lot of money or something, but just little places you could cut corners where you can fucking start seeing yourself kind of stay afloat. You feel me? And I think that's very, very fucking important. So, um... I'm down to help out in that way, you know? I mean, fuck, my YouTube and shit is, like, free. I'll I'll show you some ways that you can, one, save some money, and two, I already told you last week, I told you fucking get that DBA popping, get them little write-offs for your DBA, get that little, you know, do it the white man's way, and you, you're going to see that shit kind of, like, turn into some real fucking money. Like, for real. I That's how I started. I had $20 in the fucking bank when I really started making money off music off of like nothing. Like I didn't have shit. And then next thing you know, I, I started on my way, you know, so I'll show you. Um, but that's, that's what I could show you, you know, cause anybody could just be like, Oh, you're struggling. Here's some money. But it's like, nah, 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 nah. You got to figure out life wise, how you can fix things in order to change your lifestyle so that you can become, more productive and better when it comes to money because I think that's what happened with me like I think I was smart in the way I spent my money and the way I invested my money and that's why I've been able to even being an independent artist that doesn't make you know that much fucking money I've been able to m accumulate something based on the fact that I I'm, I'm not I'm not splurging or throwing shit away like everything I buy is kind of a little bit of an investment you know so yeah I'll show y'all some shit and shouts out Prima. And frijoles, bro. Eat some fucking frijoles at home, dude. Eat Stop eating Jack house. in the Box and all that shit. Eat some fucking frijoles at home. Yeah. Cook at the house is cheaper than go outside. Yeah. And I don't know if this is also her, but same accent. Hey, tengo flow como la snow. I didn't That's know what to else. say. I got a little oh. nervous. Um, I'm watching your live chat right now. I was going back and forth con la Joyce. So we're trying to freestyle rap for you, hermana. Hey. Off top, letting you know that you look like you're on point. Got the tajin in the box. Hey, hey. let him go and just chop, chop, chop. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. I got the now I got two primas parras. It's lit. <laughs> and oh, a little message from Daryl from Joycey. South Carolina. Hey, now this is Daryl from Columbia, oh. South Carolina. You are a dope artist. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Yeah, that's a, just a little. Nice. Did Bucci send any more uh, TikToks? Uh, I mean, it, there was a clip from uh, another podcast talking about lice, but I don't know. Or an older one, because I know he had sent some before that we never showed, right? Yeah. Yo, you. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. Okay. I'm still like that with my brother. I always talk about SpongeBob, right? I don't think there's a problem, and I don't think it made me in immature at the time to talk about SpongeBob. I just relate shit to SpongeBob. The lights one is from Comadre. You don't know my Comadre humor or what? We should make it a thing where we can. Okay, Dane, get it started. Let me know. What's the number for the voicemail? It's up there, 747-285-6216. How am I feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. You know, I, like I said, I started eating carbs. That shit made me feel better. You would like to see some DIY vlogs? So a long time ago, I made a DIY where I made a, a um, 
vanity mirror for my ex. And to be honest, I still have that vanity mirror. And maybe the mirror is a little warped, so it makes me look a little fat sometimes. Oh, yeah, ma. That's okay. Yeah, Fuck it. You know? Like, it is what it is. Um, So I still have it. But I would like to make some DIYs, because I like DIYs, right? A mí me gusta hacer cosas like myself. So sufficient. It makes me feel like I did something with my day, you know? De ese mercado. Hola, mamas. No. How do you deal with haters? Oh, I, I feel good. <laughs> I don't care about haters. Mommy doesn't care about haters. I played it all? I don't care. Hey, shout out, Dether. Dether? Becoming a day one. Shout out to everybody that is day ones, that's becoming day ones, that's members. I promise y'all I got some lit shit for y'all. And I already told you guys I got um, I got Vlogmas coming up. So, ain't no more depressed snow, bro. I'm going to fucking focus on y'all. Right, like only the baddest time. of the baddest get them. If you didn't get piojos, I'm so sorry. Like, you just sorry, babe, like, you're just not the it girl. Maybe one day you'll get them. Maybe one day you'll be lucky enough to join It adds club. flavor. It adds trauma. Okay. And if you give someone piojos, you bitch. <laughs> Oh, you God. remember who gave them to you because I still remember. I remember. Day. It's always the primas. Yeah! I'm like, mm -hmm. and if I see you and you gave me piojos, it's on sight. It's like I'm beating your ass. And like, you might not know why, but, but I know but I why. Know it. Piojos, man. Straight up. I don't, I don't remember who gave me piojos. Ma, when I had piojos, I only had it when I was little, right? No, tú no tenías piojos. Ma, yo me acuerdo en Redwood City una vez, tú me, tú me tenías ahí en el bathtub y yo tenía my hair. Lleno de, de, I had the stuff in my hair. Yo estaba así y tenía bien mucho frío. I remember. Oh, I had piojos God. once. It was in Redwood City. ¿Quién se los pegó? Ma, did you know in that same house, did you know that that's when I got my first kiss? And did you know que yo andaba afuera, yo estaba con printes y andábamos jugando. And then llegó un niño en una bicicleta. And then he stopped y me dijo, te voy a dar un, I'm going to tell you a secret. And I was like, I went like this. Y me dio un beso right here. And he was nasty and he stunk. Mm -hmm. Like he stunk. He gave me a kiss. He stunk. And then I ran away. Y yo entré a la casa. Corrí a la casa. Y mi papá estaba viendo fútbol en la living room. Y no sé qué gritó. Si le hizo gol. Yo no sé qué hizo. Pero es una pinche grita. Like grita. Que me dio más. O sea, yo me asusté allá afuera. Con, corrí para la casa. Me asusté acá. I, I just was so fucking scared. I went to the bathroom. I washed my face. And that's probably why I became a lesbian. <gasps> Like, asustaste. me asustó, todo me asustó, yo tenía mucho miedo, I was like, oh my god, it was just so fucking scary, I was like, this is the worst fucking feeling in my no life. Para hacer un a la I don't know, it was just, I was embarrassed. I, ¿Cuántos años tenías? ¿Como siete, ocho? Como se, como, no, tenía que tener como seis y medio, siete, porque Miguelito, porque Miguelito estaba en bebé. ese tiempo estaba bebé, ya. Yeah. Antes tenías como yeah. seis, siete. I was like six. And I was so traumatized, bro. Like, I couldn't believe it. Because I, I, he pulled up on his bike and he just said he was going to tell me a secret. That's all. Next thing I know, my whole life changed. And he stunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> like spit. You know what I mean? Like, he was just gross. Disgusting. Me quedé traumada, man. Sí, pues estaba muy chiquita. I know. Pero ves, people don't know. Like... Your kids could be going through some trauma and they don't know. Like, I didn't tell my mom. That was weird. I was just scared. Then that was it. I don't know what happened. I don't remember anything after that. Maybe for all I know, I fucking blacked out the rest of my memories. I don't remember anything else. Next thing I know, here I am on the podcast. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Y, y se acabó el trauma. Mm. Um, how's Miss Wally? Um, I don't know. She's married. She's married now. Um, I punched a kid who kissed me on the cheek, right? I was pinned down by two boys for my first kiss. It was traumatic. Dude, it's traumatic. Like, chiquillos, bad kids are fucked up, dude. Por eso yo, like, with kids, literally, yo lo regaño. I don't give a fuck, bro. If you're, if you're, like, my friend and you have kids and they're, like, you know, around my son's age, I will warn your child. And I don't give, and I'll be like, all right, fight me, bitch. Because I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not yelling at your kid or nothing, but I'm like, hey. Be good, okay? Like, it's an understanding. Because I don't have enough time for your badass to traumatize my child. First, we go, be good, okay? Be respectful. Around here, we don't break things or, or throw things or nothing. You see how my house, my son has not broken anything? We're going to keep it that way. I don't care what you do at your house. We're not doing that shit here. Okay? Papa?
Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there, was some, there was some crazy video. I mean, I guess it's sad, so I don't want to play it. But some lady was like, she took her phone, her like the phone from her kid who's like twelve, mm-hmm. and she was showing the whole, the whole like apartment, and he destroyed so many <laughs> things like mirrors, TVs, like all kinds of stuff, and even the toilet was like. He somehow cracked it in half and she was just like crying. But like the toilet, how the heck? What happened to him? He didn't go to jail? Uh, I didn't follow up on it, but yeah, it was like, it was really messed up. Yeah, that's wild. The freaking And, toilet, and the dude. girls, bro, the girls whose kids, the girls whose kids do something and then all they, like they yell at them and they're like, like, but it's like. I don't care that you yelled at your kid. Are you going to repay for that? Are you going to fix that? Like, what do you, like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, you're like, great, you yelled at him, but that shit needs to be replaced. That shit is wild. And with kids, you got to be consistent. Like, the reason that that kid thinks that he could do that wild ass shit is because you're not consistent with him. I don't care that sometimes you whoop his ass, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you yell at him, sometimes you don't. I don't care that you embarrass him. I don't care how hard you hit him sometimes and how, no. What you could have done is just been consistent with him so you don't have to hit him. You, you don't, if you were consistent enough with a child, you do not have to hit them because you are parenting in a way where they know they don't want to cross that boundary. They don't want to cross that line. If all it is is like hit, they do something, hit, they do something, ignore. They do something, hit them again. They don't do... Girl, you'd have lost control of your fucking child at that point. It's like, what do you... Like, come on. All yeah. you had to do was be consistent, bro. Yeah, and it's like after after you destroy one room full of things, like, dang, the kid didn't stop then. Because even, like, you know, whenever yeah. I punch holes, like, in a wall or something, or not holes, a hole, like, as Eat soon as you hole. do the one... You you feel bad like kind of instantly, um. So why wouldn't like he terrorized the entire apartment like multiple rooms, living room, bathrooms? Like what? Nah. That's crazy. Nah, I'd have sent that kid to jail. Yeah, that's what a lot of the comments are saying. Well, they weren't saying jail, like a military school or something. Yeah, something something that really would like, because obviously you're sucking ass at parenting, so you got you need help like and and you can be there for it like you can really have communication be like hey the reason you're here is because honestly you're getting out of control i don't i don't have control i've had that conversation with baby drew i've had to be like hey i have never had a 12 year old i don't know how to parent you but if we can work on this together you know i'm your parent i'm responsible for you when you grow up that's what i'm here for i'm here to be your partner in how you're going to develop and how you're going to grow up we're going to figure this out but you got to help me out so that we can get to this place easier and better. But, you know, it's in, I'm not your enemy. I'm not here to just hate on your fun. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not, don't look at me as like, oh, mommy's just coming through to just take shit away from me. Like, I don't want to. I love giving you stuff. I love, I love doing cool stuff with you. I love having a great relationship with you. But the moment that I don't know what to do anymore, the moment that you're not listening to me and we're not being accountable for how you should be acting, that's the moment that now you're forcing me to have to figure out what ways can I get my child to pay attention. So you tell me if we're going to do this a cool, fun way because mommy loves you and wants to fucking be here having a great time and playing video games with you. Or are we going to have to do this a different way where mommy doesn't know what I got to do, but I'm going to have to start taking some things away because what the fuck is we doing right now? And he'd be like, like SpongeBob when his eyes be uh, squeaking when he blinks. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. it's us, baby. It's us against the problem. It's not me against you. Trust me. I'd rather not. And yeah, we'd be, you know, we'd be trying to figure that shit out. Um, But yeah, <sighs> I don't know. That's parenting, guys. Sorry if it's kind of funny. <laughs> Somebody said mama's falling asleep. I know my mom's tired. It's been a long day, guys. Have we been on for an hour and a half yet? Almost? Yeah. All right. Well, like I told you guys, we were going to be on for an hour and a half. I'm so, I'll am so i still probably be a little bit on TikTok. Mommy got to go to bed. It's what? Damn, it's 10? In Eesh. Mexico, it's, it's 10. 12. It's 10. It's midnight. It's in us Mexico. against the problem. I'm going to fucking go. I'm going to be on TikTok for a little bit more. 
um, just having, you know, having a blast, promoting my fucking show. I'm really trying to sell this one out. So help me promote it if you can. Help let people know to come to my show at the Novo um, this Saturday. It's going to be dope. Um, other than this, I'll be on TikTok for a little bit. Then I'll go to bed. I want to get up really early tomorrow. One, I want to work out. So I'm probably going to do a day. Sorry. I'm probably going to do a day one's um, live stream tomorrow on the treadmill. Because we're going to hold ourselves accountable. I want to have a fitness journey. I want to have a fitness goal. How many pounds do I want to lose? I want to get tatted on my stomach. Um, Ido and I are going to be fucking fitness bros. So let's try to hold ourselves accountable. You don't know how to use TikTok? Girl, just download it and follow Snow the product. That's all you got to do. Be on TikTok. Let's do this shit. And like I told y'all. I want to fucking get on this fitness journey. If you want to join me, fuck it. It's it's one month early before the year starts, but let's start our new year resolution right now. Why not? What the fuck else is we doing, you know? So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the morning. If you're not on my TikTok in a second, then I'll see you guys in the morning, and we'll get started on this fitness journey. See you know? Okay. All right. I love oh, y'all. Love my mom. Good love night. my brother. Thank you so much, Tahin, for sending us Thank Tahin stuff. So. We're going to buy some fruit. Y vamos a hacer unos, unos vasos de fruta con oh, no, todo, todo lo de Tahin. Gracias, a Gracias a toda la gente de acá. India Wind. What up, Snow Family? Pack. Oop. I'm packed up for my flight to LA tomorrow. Can't wait to see you Saturday. Shouts out, India Wind. We'll see you here. Chisel, we'll see you here. Uh, August Rush, we'll see you here. Everybody that's pulling up to my show this Saturday, I appreciate you guys, especially if you guys are coming from out of town. I love y'all so motherfucking much. Thank you guys so much. I love you. Um, and I'll keep doing the podcast and we'll keep doing content. All right? Thank oh. you for joining me. I love y'all. And dude, thank you, D-Love, too. Oh, thank like you. Pretty... Yeah, thank you, D-Love. Thank you so fucking much, D-Love, for showing up and showing out. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next time. I don't know if I'll podcast maybe Thursday. Fuck it. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. But as always, Tuesdays for sure, we're starting. Every Tuesday, we're going to be live on this motherfucking podcast. We're going to start having guests. So if you have any suggestions for guests, if you want me to have anybody to interview, to have as a guest, to come through to the ranch, we'll have some chickens, we'll have some goats, we'll eat some food, and we'll fucking talk on the podcast. Let me know. DM me or hit, reach out to them. Tag them. Maybe they'll say yes. I appreciate every single one of y'all that keeps on helping us. I love y'all. I'm out. Thank you. Good night. Esa niña no se aguanta, quiere todo porque el pussy sabe a fanta. Si la dejas por pendejo se te casa. Dale todo dos de lengua y una horchata. Si te alcanza, I'm the shit, huh? Are you catching what I'm throwing for what pick up? Same bitch I always was, now I'm just richer. I'm about to shake it up, bitch, check the Richter. This a sticker. You say some things your numbers don't say. I got some kids with toys that don't play. Kilo de azúcar pa' mi con flakes. I don't need roses, pour me rose. No soy santa, baby, yo soy vale madre, faca chancla. Lo que yo sí tengo mucho a ti te falta. Y si quieres yo te enseño con el ram, pa' pa' pam, ram, pa' pa' pam, pam. No soy santa, baby, yo 